Hey peeps, how are you doing? Welcome back to another tutorial. So we're still going through our A to Z. If you have missed everything else so far, go and check it out on YouTube and you'll be able to catch up with the other trick tutorials. So today we are on U, U for U bend. So I'm going to show you what this move looks like and I'm gonna break it down to you. Are you ready? Let's go. So, this is what it looks like. Okay, so you're going to need a really good grip of your foot, okay? And I know that can be really tricky when you're using your pole. So make sure you, your pole is nice and warm, okay? Heat the pole up. The warmer your pole is, the stickier it will be. Uh, make sure you've got really nice dry feet. You can always put a bit of grip on your feet as well. You can always like some, use some sort of sticky grip to help you with this, okay? So we are going to start with our hands around base level. And then whichever hand is the lowest, I'm going to take the same size foot onto the pole. I'm not going way up here, okay? Um, I'm what I want to do is aim for my knee to go down so I can push the pole in. If you're too up here, you tend to find that you'll just slide off. So making sure that knee is pointing down to be able to get that push into the pole, okay? So the next bit is we are going to lift the knee up as we tilt ourselves down. So we are bringing our body down towards that bottom knee as we bring the other knee up to the shoulder. So we want to get that tilt, okay? So from here, hands at face level, foot on, knee down. I'm already gonna look up where I want to go. Okay, so I'm gonna to look towards the top of the ceiling there, or to the top of the pole. So I'm gonna bend my leg, and as I push off the floor, I'm gonna straighten this leg as I tilt. So here, push, knee up, okay? So once you've got that knee up and you've tilted, you may just need to be practicing that for a little bit uh, to build up your strength and confidence with this, okay? So once we've got over and we can hold, we are going to take the leg straight over, okay? So what this means is at the moment it's in a tuck position. So I'm gonna straighten the legs, it goes past the palm, and then I'm literally just folding over myself. And it'll feel really weird because your hands are in the way, okay? You won't be able to close your legs together, because like I said, your, arm, your arms will stop you doing that. So we're just going to bring the leg down and get as close as we can. So when you're in it, your leg will feel way up here, but when you see it on a video, it should look like you are in a U-bend. Okay, does that make sense? So I'm going straight over, and then I'm just going to bring my leg down. I'm squeezing that leg on the arm. So again, only when you've got the confidence in this position, to tuck, and my head is right down. Then I'm going to straighten the leg and look for it. And then I'm going to bring that leg over. And as I pull with my arms, I'm bringing that leg down. And I'm squeezing that leg um, on my arm, pointing the toes down. So now I'm looking towards my feet. Okay? Then we can turn back, bend the bottom leg, bend the top leg, and place the foot down. Now some people don't um, bend the bottom leg. If you find that you've got grip without bending, that's absolutely fine. Just my preference. Um, I just find that I'm able to get more of a push into the pole. Sometimes when I bring my body upright and my foot is like this, I tend to slide. So um, do whatever's good for you, okay? It's like some, when you feel confident with this, you can actually mount just from like a rakeo split. So you're going to go into a straight leg to start with. So like this. And then you can turn all the way over, okay? But until you've got the strength and you feel confident with being in that tilt, that's the first step. Does that make sense? Cool, okay, so you really want to be pivoting that foot. So your foot, to start with, obviously the ball of your foot is on. So I'm not going completely straight like this. I'm starting with my foot turned out. So my uh, ball of my foot is on the pole. And then as I turn, I also like pivot my foot on the pole, so then my toes turn down towards the floor, so help me turn over. So if I'll do it again, and then you'll be able to watch my foot as I start to bring that leg over to help me bring the leg down, I'm just gonna pivot that foot, okay? So again, over, as I bring my leg down, I'm gonna pivot the foot, so now my toes are pointing down. Does this make sense? And then I'm gonna come back. You can keep the legs straight, you can go into a regular split or whatever you fancy doing if you want to spice it up and enjoy at a higher level. Does that make sense? Okay, so it's a fairly simple tutorial, 
but you do need a, a degree of strength and it will take time to get there, okay? So just bringing that leg over, squeezing as close as you can, so you're bringing your legs as close as you can, pointing that toe of your free leg down, engaging the quads as much as you can, you've got a good pog on the pole with your arms. Yeah, so that is your U-bend, I think it looks really cool. What do you think? Now, um, like I said, to start with, you just want to be working, you can always start on ratio, just to be able to get your foot placement right, okay? It will get used to pushing with your foot. So if you've not done that, let's practice that for you guys that are more beginner, okay? So that would be your like, prerequisite if you like. So again, I'm gonna start with my hands around, maybe just above head height for this one. And I'm gonna place, so I'm gonna lift one leg, and I'm gonna push the ball of the foot onto the pole. So I'm never like uh, completely straight, I'm always to one side. So from here, I'm gonna pull down, and as I start to push my leg, I'm gonna pull the shoulders down. So think about pulling the pole into the floor, and see if you can straighten and lift the back leg, okay? As you build your strength and more confidence up, you can try to lift up your chest a little bit more to straighten that back, and it looks so much better. And then you can always lift that leg higher, whatever you wanna do if you haven't got the room like me, you might just have to bend it, okay? So have a little play around with that one if you're a bit more beginner. Like I said, it's just gonna help you with that foot on the pole because it might be a move that you're not used to yet. And then you can build up to tilting, okay? Then you can always do your box foot mount placing the foot on the pole. You can go into go to hook, which we've done in another, another uh, tutorial. Um, and then work on your new bends. That one comes a little bit later as your confidence builds. Does this make sense? So that's you then, guys. That was today's U as part of the A to Z um, month, if you like. Not very, we haven't got many left now, okay? We finish at the end of this week. Uh, if you've got any questions, please let me know. If you're stuck and you want to progress and you don't know how, you know what to do. Reach out to us, okay? We're an online studio, we can help you. If you're looking to build strength and you're looking to work on tricks um, and different moves and transitions and that kind of thing, because that's our jam. Alrighty, have a wonderful day. I will see you later. Bye.